So I've been doing some troubleshooting on my backup 3D printer here and I noticed I had some issues in the Z axis and figured I might as well do a video explaining what the heck is going on. So if we take a look at this print right here you'll notice the classic signs of Z banding. See how it's all wavy as it goes upward and especially on the corners you can see how as we go up it kind of goes back and forth instead of a nice straight line and you can see distinctly on all the areas how that swiveling motion is affecting the entire print well that's because the parts that are involved with the z-axis are wearing parts so what I've done is I've taken the bearing blocks off of this printer which yes these are controversial I get it and in fact I think there's a much better design of these perhaps another video will talk about it but for right now just to show you what we're dealing with that's the amount of play we have in a stationary position and in fact if we look at the lead screw nut That's a lot of play. It's too much slop. Now you need some slop in order to move up and down. But the reality is that these components are in fact designed to wear. The lead screw is made of a harder metal than the lead screw nut because it's expected that the lead screw nut being brass and all will be easier and more cost effective to replace. Now that wiggling is causing some issues as we go up and down. Now part of this can be resolved by squaring up the position of the motor and the shaft so that uh, the motor connects to the Z-Rod going straight up and down nice and perfect and you can further stabilize it with one of these however um, if you're going to use a bearing block I suggest using these fully adjustable style bearing blocks and just so you know, can see what I'm saying these bearing blocks can adjust in the X and Y axis so you, when you get it in the perfect position uh, you're not actually causing any binding that's really the only good way to use a bearing block that being said, getting back to this print, uh, just be aware that the brass is a wearing part and uh, it could definitely lead to Z-banding. When you're using any part that has metal on metal, you should be using a kind of grease. This is the stuff I use, good old super lube. And grease up the rod so that way there's less friction on the rod and the lead screw nut. Uh, that way you don't wear away the lead screw nut as much but it's definitely worth uh, looking into to make sure you don't wear parts out prematurely now another factor is these rods are actually for a CR10 this is an Ender 3 so the threads uh, could be slightly different than an Ender 3 I'm not quite entirely sure um, that being said yeah, there you go. <laughs> there's, there's my diagnosis to a certain problem.